uh, what advice you would give to somebody who is either, you know, is starting a mentorship or who would like to apply for it so that you no know, once again, they are fully prepared, what the expectations are and what they should so that they both parties get the most out of it. So I think for a, a mentor that is looking to put together a mentorship, I think the first thing that they would really need to do is get kind of a clear idea of what they're looking to accomplish with it, you know, start to put together. And it doesn't need to be a super detailed plan, but a sense of this is the problem. This is sort of what our outcome is looking like uh, and, and start to put that together so a mentee can look at it and understand it. I think another thing that a mentor really has to do is to understand that they have a deep understanding of this technology the mentee is not going to have that and it's going to take a little bit to come up to speed with that. So there's a piece of it that what should a mentee do as pre-reads? You know, are there courses they should take? Are there things that they should work on? You know, is there books they should read? Is there, you know, other documentation, things that they should be aware of? All of those that a mentor should really start to consider as they're putting that together. And and also, you know, they might know what their, a, a mentor might know what their own velocity for getting things done are. They need to kind of like pair that back a little bit and say, you know what, a mentee is going to have a different pace at it. You know, they might be real slow to start, but then they might really take off. Um, so I think having a little bit of understanding that, you know, you don't want to give them the most difficult assignment in the world. You don't want to give them also the easiest because you don't want to bore them to death. You want to give them somewhere in the middle so it's interesting to them, but you also want to have enough, you know, lacks in there that they have a path to be successful because that's really what you're wanting them to do is to see that they can be successful. So I think that's, if I'm a mentor, that's what I'm thinking about. If I'm a mentee, you know, you spend time, you read a lot of these requirements, you read the mentorship, you understand what it's about, you ask questions, you know, mentors are going to be really interested in people that are going to be interested in what they're working on. Um, so the more that you're asking those questions, not only is your name sort of getting top of mind to that person, but at the same time, you're showing that you have a lot of interest of what they're doing. And also, as you're doing sort of your application, I think the more and more that you can talk about, you know, your experiences, how you approach projects, all of those um, things, and, and really being able to show a lot of those interests and help paint a picture. Because again, this person, the most they're probably going to meet you is a Zoom call. So they're not going to know much more and more about you. So the more that you can show that portfolio of your work, how you approach things, your background, the better. Um, so I see mentees that are more successful, they take that time to build that out. They'll, they'll be the ones that will have the longer application, but they're doing that because they're really trying to paint that picture. And even a mentor will look at that and say, wow, this person is really invent invested. They're not just you know sending a whole bunch of applications out and see what sticks they're putting the time into it because they care and they really want to land this. And that means a lot uh, to mentors.